So with the Datatrack Pro, the cool thing is you just get the one part number. And if you already know the make and model of the tire that you're looking at, you can actually probably Google and find out what the revolutions per kilometer would be. Now, as an example, a Michelin 11R 22.5, you know that it's going to be 317 because we've already done the work. Let's say you don't have that information. And in this example, I measure the tire. It's 40 inches. And to calculate it, to do kilometers, you actually need to convert it into kilometers or into millimeters. So converting this into millimeters, you times it by 25.4. And that is the amount of millimeters per inch. So 40 times 25.4 is 1,016. That would be millimeters, outer diameter of this tire. Now, taking that, you can use that information in your programmer here. So for the main menu, you got program part, calculate tire. There you go. We're gonna use kilometers. Now go down, input tire outer diameter, and up, press. We're gonna do one, zero, one, and six. There we go. Now we'll calculate that. It's 327 revolutions per kilometer. So we'll take our data track. We'll actually take out that bump there, trace it into the hole, and we'll program. There you go. Revolutions 327. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Now, alternatively, you can program it manually. So let's say you already know the revolutions. You can actually go back to the beginning back here program part revolutions you can actually input whatever you want let's say it's 427 enter revolutions now 427 and let's say we screwed up and we were supposed to be 427 put it back on program it'll allow you to reprogram so as long as it doesn't rotate it'll allow to reprogram let's go back Let's say it was supposed to be in miles. Press enter, 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 sorry, up and down. Miles, enter, and then we're gonna go down, program. Did not work there. Let's check it again. And you saw it there. So sometimes it doesn't work, you need to double check. And if you need to double check, just put your hand over it. Sometimes it's a bit of a pain. Sometimes it's not that easy. Straighten it out. If you can't figure it out, let's flip it upside down for a second. Let's try it one more time. There you go. 427. So. It worked.